welcome friends in my last class i discussed about the general properties of acids and bases actually this was to summarize the properties of acids and bases and objective was to give you some idea about the acids and bases today i will discuss about acid in detail so before i move into the next chapter that acid the definition i have already discussed it is the chemical compound which gives hydronium ion as the only positive radical hydronium ion that is h3o plus hydronium ion hydronium hydronium ion so the chemical compounds which are dissolved in water gives the hydronium ion as only positive radical called acid that i have already discussed today i am going to discuss about the general properties and classification of acids acids are classified in two ways first one depending upon the strength depending upon the strength first criterion is the strength of an acid strength types of acid depending upon the strength and second one depending upon the basicity of an acid basicity of an acid so what the strength is it is the concentration of hydronium ion in the solution when an acid is dissolved in water that means if we add some water to acid or sometimes acid to water hydronium ions are formed and depending upon their concentration acid can be classified into two groups the concentration of hydronium ion called the strength of an acid when the concentration is high when the concentration of hydronium ion is high then it is called strong acid strong acid first one the strong acid that is high concentration high concentration of hydronium ion in the solution hydronium ion in the solution then strength is high that is the high concentration of hydronium ion in the solution when acid is dissolved in water such as it called strong acid second time is weak acid so high concentration means suppose there are 100 molecules of acid in the solution and out of 100 molecules almost 80 to 90 molecules getting dissociated to form hydronium ion for example for a strong acid i take example of hydrochloric acid hcl that is hydrochloric acid is the best example of strong acid so when hydrochloric acid dissociates it gives two ions hydrogen plus and chloride minus this hydrogen plus combines with water molecules to give hydronium ion h3o plus so suppose there are 100 molecules of hydrochloric acid and out of 100 molecules, almost 
92 95 bazen gelin dissociate to form hydronium ion. That is why it can be termed as strong acid. So strong or weak depend upon the strength that is the concentration of hydronium ion. So this is hydrochloric acid is strong acid because it is a high concentration of hydronium ion in the solution. The second one, weak acid. Weak acid means the low concentration of hydronium ion. Weak acid. Weak acid. That is the low concentration. Low concentration. Low concentration of hydronium ion H3O plus. Suppose there are 100 molecules of oxalic acid in the solution, and out of 100 molecules, only 2 or 3, there are 5, you can say, getting dissociated to form hydronium ion. Then, oxalic acid can be termed as, or generally termed as, weak acid because it gives low concentration of hydronium ion in the solution. There are more examples. For a strong acid, Hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. Similarly, for weak acids, there are examples are oxalic acid, formic acid, acetic acid, etc. And one mineral acid, that is carbonic acid, also weak acid. So, depending upon the strength, acid can be classified into two groups strong and weak. Similarly, in another way, the acid can be classified into groups depending upon the basicity of an acid. So, next criterion is basicity. Depending upon the basicity, acid can be classified. Depending upon the basicity, acid can also be classified. So what is basicity? It is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in the acid. Number of replaceable hydrogen ion. For example, hydrochloric acid, HCl. It gives one hydrogen, one molecule gives one hydrogen replaceable and one chloride ion. So basicity of hydrochloric acid is one. So hydrochloric acid called monobasic. This is called monobasic. Monobasic. Since the basicity of hydrochloric acid is just one. Basicity is just one. Because there is just one replaceable hydrogen ion. So it is monobasic. Take another example. Sulfuric acid. H2SO4. That is sulfuric acid. When dissociates, it gives two hydrogen ion and one sulfate ion. So number of replaceable hydrogen ion is two. Number of replaceable hydrogen ion is two. So basicity is so basicity is two. So it can be termed as dibasic acid. Dibasic acid. Similarly, there are more examples, tribasic, and some more examples also tribasic, for example, phosphoric acid, H3PO4. It's called tribasic acid because it gives three replaceable hydrogen ion in the solution. And what about the acetic acid? Phosphoric acid, tribasic, take some differences. Look at the differences. This is H3PO4. H3PO4. This is phosphoric acid. This is phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid. It gives 
three replaceable hardened iron and one phosphate iron. So basicity is three. So basicity is three. So it is tri-basic. So basicity depends upon the number of replaceable hardened iron. It is not only the number of hardened atom in the one molecule of the acid. If I take an example of acetic acid and compare with it with the phosphoric acid, the concept will be very clear. For example, acetic acid CH3COOH, it is the number of hydrogen atom 3 plus 1, 4. But replaceable hydrogen ion is just this one. This one. When dissociate, it gives CH3COO. The acetate ion and one hydrogen ion. This one atoms of hydrogen remain intact. So although it contains four hydrogen atoms in one molecule, its basicity is one. So hydrochloric so acetic acid is simply termed as monobasic acid. So concept must be clear that basicity is the number of replaceable hydrogen ions. So, acetic acid also contains four hydrogen atoms, but out of four, only one hydrogen atom gets dissociated and gets replaced by metals atom. By they react with one another. That is, it contains only one replaceable hydrogen ion, so its basicity is one, although it contains four atoms of hydrogen. So, Acetic acid is monobasic. Monobasic. Okay, friends, that's all for the day.